Nostalgic. Welcome to the show. At the uh, wrong intro. Rolling. That's terrible. Welcome. Guys, today we do bring your tactics. So you guys um, can... Guys on Discord, you can submit your tactics. I think from next week onwards. Uh, next week onwards on Wednesdays. Uh, the first teamers. All those guys who are first teamers, you can submit your files as well. I create a new link for you guys in the first team channel. And then uh, you can use that link to upload your save file and the tag things that there we can take a complete look at it um yeah for the rest of if you're not a first team member you, you will only have access to the 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 current tag the current uploading i mean basically you upload tactics because i won't have time i have to prioritize i hate to do it this way but hey man uh we got so much to cover man the next few couple of weeks hey YT, Jens, Vance, thanks man. Laptop. Yeah. God, uh, try and yeah, let us know how it come gets off. Are you free on Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday is my editing day, man. <laughs> no, this Thursday I've got to see a commissioner of oaths. I've got to I've got to go pick my son, then I've got to go and see a commissioner of oaths because I got to renew my visa. And uh that requires me getting some documents. Um certified by a commissioner of oaths they still won't grant me pr i've been living here for like fucking 13 years already i've contributed so much to the damn economy financially <laughs> you think by now they would actually give me a pr but they don't which is very 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 annoying <laughs> okay so anyway stop let's talk about annoying let's not talk about annoying things <laughs> boom okay so here we go guys we have oh yeah this is just me um this is uh what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to use this uh, safe, but I think we have uh, somebody submitted one safe, right? So this is going to be interesting because it's going to be everywhere. Man. Uh, use this. I think I've got Dropbox. Uh, did I put it here? BYT. Yeah, you got a safe, right? So you submitted a safe. I think I, let me see, you sent notes as well. Okay. But uh, from next week onwards, it'll be like guys who are first teamers, you can send in your save file and I'll look at the save file as well. Okay, so James, playing as Bromley, 2023, possession game. Play short passing with triangles. Draw the opposition for the DLP. Sometimes a mess or inside we have to make a color pass to the AF or CM. Yep, okay. You're gonna play, okay. This is basically you're overloading one side of the pitch so that you can attack on the other, okay. Left mid, right mid, okay. DLP, okay, interesting. DB, sweeper keeper, trigger press is slightly less, I like, okay. Okay, that's good. But more my opening games, I feel like I better than my, okay, cool. My no corners were nerfed. Not, I mean, I won't say they've been nerfed, nerfed, like terribly nerfed. They're not that nerfed. Um, I think you look, you're talking about this tactic, right? I mean, I won't look at the other tactics, but just look at this tactic. Let's look at your seasons so far, wow. I mean, this is not bad, man. Um, yeah, I mean, you change things around. This tells me that you didn't start very well and you made a change. Or you just have one damn, one hell of a damn good finish. But um, I would be concerned still, yeah. Because um, the XG, I mean, I usually use an XG, the match story, to tell me something about the game. See, this sound looks like a pen, man. Yeah, it's a pen. Now, when I see chances like this, I get a bit concerned. You know, it's like not... I mean, you basically have one here. This is a good chance. This is a pen, of course, is a good chance. You didn't have much... I mean, this... I won't categorize this as good chances, right? I mean, a good chance is something like 0 0.2. That's a good chance. This is a good chance. You basically have one good chance in the entire game. This is... This is something that you I would be concerned with. 
So, um, looking at the tactic alone, um, looking at this tactic, this is a fairly safe tactic, right? So you've got, okay, uh, several things I want to say. First, like I've got the total tactics tester. Now, there's a reason why I created it. Because sometimes you don't know if a tactic is good or bad, right? And sometimes you think your tactic is very good, plays really well, but you need a clue, right? So let's, let me just uh, save this tactic somewhere. These are my tactics, so I don't want to mess them up. So I'll come in here, I'll come in here and I'll put it here. You know, save it here. Uh, let's call this save. I, I don't know what to call this tactic, man. Save one. <laughs> I have no idea what to call this tactic. Okay, load the game. Go out again. Come in here. Uh, then I go to my um, downloads. Uh, find my find my file. It's here. <laughs> okay, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Okay, come inside here. Load this thing in here. Save one. Okay, give it quick, quick. Very simple. Go in here. Give the same tactic to this team. Load it here. Save here. Quick, quick. Go to this tactic here. Go to that team here. Load the tactic. I got four. We got four instances of the same team, right? And they are all playing in different leagues. Uh, one league, you're the underdog. In another league, you're the favorite. In another league, it's just like an ordinary league all over Europe. There are good teams. There are bad teams, and they are, they are champ. There are teams that can be champions. And finally, you've got another league, which is uh, basically everybody is about the same standard as you, right? So you can actually find out from here. And so all these are the leagues, right? So for weeks. So what I normally tell people, what we normally want to do is we want to go on holiday, right? You, so, I mean, I would at this point save the game because you don't want to run the test without saving it first. So you save the thing, right? Okay. Then what you do is you go on holiday. Now, we're not going to holiday the entire season because it's going to take, I mean, it's, it's going to take a while. Right? So we'll just do a sample test, which is a few uh, matches until the end of next month. Uh, did, I, did I go on to the end of next month? I hope I did, man. Because he's, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to, we don't want to be on this for too long. I think it's supposed to be September the 30th. Uh, I might have done the first one wrongly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, September the 30th. Okay. And then it goes on holiday, right? So the whole thing goes on holiday. You can, and what will happen is, uh, you don't bother about training and the like. You can set up opposition instructions and then you can actually, what you can also do is, um, like, study the team, right? Because if you've got three-man tactic, uh, maybe you want some, you want a specific kind of a player playing in some zone and you want him to attack, then you can do that as well. Uh, like maybe you you want to play me maybe you want a tall inside forward on one side of the pitch you, you it's probably one in the team and all you gotta do is stick him on that side and see how the tag depends out so that's one way of doing it so i i you can test it the whole idea here is this if your tactic is good or decent let's just say decent okay decent tactic it has to be able to beat every side that's weaker than you if your tactic is good it should also be able to beat all the sides at your level. If your tactic is phenomenal, your tactic will win um, the balance league where you've got two teams that are favorites. There is Liverpool and there is Real Madrid. And the rest of the teams are um, about your stand, uh, four teams are about your standard and the rest of the team are underdogs. That's like supposed to reflect a balanced league around Europe. So in that league, you are you're not a contender, you're just one of the outsiders. So if your tactic is very good, you should also uh, be able to do that. And then there's one more league, which is the Elite League, which is uh, all the teams are stronger than you. Now, I have made tactics that have won all four leagues. Right? Uh, they're not, they're not hard. Uh, easy to make um, i've got about i think i have three tactics that currently win every single league and i have not shared them with the community and i have um one a few tactics most of the time you get all three you get three out of four most of the time right so that's what you want to aim for you want to aim for a good goal difference 
right? Now, we're looking at this right now, and in the underdog league, you're fourth. At this point, I would stop immediately. I'll go like, okay, that's it. There's no point looking anymore. Because there is no reason why you should be fourth here. These are all the teams that you should be beating, but you're not, right? Napoli can't beat Granada. Napoli lost two matches. They lost to Granada and Southampton. One home, one away. So there is something fundamentally wrong with this thing. So I, I can just stop it here and go like, okay, we need to figure out what's wrong with this tactic. Now, some people might say it's the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, we left it to the s to decide, right? Which players are there, which players should be playing here. So when I'm looking at your tactic and I'm going, okay, you've got an inverter winger here, you've got a, a, a winger here and you're going to advance forward. Now, the, the thing is, if you are going to create something where you're trying to create a kind of an overload on one side of the pitch, this guy is too far forward to be, to create the overload, right? So um, there is no overloads happening because if as once the ball cup, this guy attacks. When he attacks, what's going to happen is um, he's going to push forward. This DLP is going to hold his position, but he'll move relative to the other players around him. This guy's going to bomb forward. Mazala is going to enter the half space. Fullback and the Mazala might be close together. And then you got an uh, inverter winger who is backing this side of the pitch but he's he tends to be a bit more of a creative role okay. so here this becomes yeah it's it is but it might be decent but we can make it we can try and make this better right so we have to there's i won't say this is a bad tactic i'm just gonna say that we have to be thinking about what we can do Right to make it a better tactic. So I'm gonna go back to your safe. So there is if I don't win all the underdog, if I don't win in the underdog league, means I have to tweak the tactic. Okay. So question is if how do you want to because when I'm looking at this tactic, what, what I see is okay, roll it out and you regroup. Now when you set this up, when you lose the ball, your priority is to come back and hold your shape. Well, basically, when this regroup action happens your players are going to come back. Right? The moment you lost the ball, you're not going to try and win the ball back. They're just going to try and come back. Problem is, this is a top-heavy tactic. So, you're always going to have issues defending. Okay. So, if you look, we're looking at the data hub. Uh, you don't have a data hub yet, so it's not happening just yet. So, um, it explains as well why we have... And if you want to create... You want this player to be looking at making passes, but you got a creative player here, you got somebody attacking. Now, for this player, when this player is attacking this pocket, right, this Masala is going to be in this half space here with him, right, together. They, they will probably be in the half space together. And then when that happens, right, you got this winger who's not attacking the space. You, instead, you've got this fullback trying to come around. So, your tactic relies on you camping. And if you and if you don't, um, yeah. See, this, there's so many instructions here that I don't understand. Okay, you got a higher line of engagement. You want your play, front players to start, because when you have a higher line of engagement, what does that mean? That means these guys start the press, right? They start a press. Okay, you want them doing it high up the pitch, but you also want your players to not move from their positions too much. But you've got these guys attacking. These guys attacking. These guys attacking. So literally. You're defending with this group. Well, let's just let's just watch one of the games, right? So um, let's just uh, go on holiday. For the next match. So there are some issues. I'm not going to change it. We're going to change it on the fly. Not yet, man. Carrera. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at the guys on Discord first. So we're gonna have to look at. Uh, so, the, the, we see, whenever we make a tactic, whenever, okay, I want you to think in terms of this, right? When you make a tactic, ask yourself, what kind of movements do you are you planning on? Because that's the simple thing. If you can, if you can visualize the movements, that's half the job done. Because you, you, if you, I'm looking at that, I'm struggling to see where the goals are going to come from, right? Because it looks like the fullbacks have to be up the pitch. The fullbacks are going to move up the pitch. But when does this happen? The fullbacks attack that space once the ball goes into midfield. Once it moves into midfield, the fullbacks, you know, they, they, they get in front. So it means that you have to be controlling the ball near midfield for that to work. Okay. But you also mentioned in your message that you want your 
your what do you call it? You have a winger support on the right as a space and width outlet for fullback. And basically, this to have a side overloaded. Now, when you are having a side overloaded, it's overloaded by duties over there, right? It players over there holding the space. You don't need to have a focus play to create that effect as well. Yeah. This is so I can have my place decide when it's best to tackle and helps keep my team shape. Well, that is true. You can do this. It will um, your place will decide when they want to press. However, you gotta remember your top heavy. If I if somebody were to come to me and tell me I'm doing that with a 4-1-4 and I say go for it. Because your players are already in deeper positions, right? So they're not gonna give, give up so much space. But when somebody does it with a top heavy system, I go like, oh wait a minute. <laughs> uh that means that this 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 three are not involved. They won't be involved because your line of engagement is so high. They are already starting the press. When they start the press, these guys follow. See, we'll, we'll watch the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna. I'm, I don't know who's who's in the team. I'm just gonna quick quick right based on what the ass man thinks, um, and we will see how it goes. I mean, I'm not gonna look at. I mean, this. Yeah, I mean, this is. Uh, I would say that you might have issues, man. Let's say if you let's look at your team, right? Like this position is so important. Work rate is going to be important for this player. Yeah, he's got to get up the pitch. So he's got eleven flare, seven dictates tempo. He's got passing, vision, decisions. Okay, this guy very slow. Um, he's got ex anticipation, no concentration. So this guy is going to have to be defending a lot. So if he's out of if this guy is uh, out of position, there might be an issue. So this guy is basically just gonna play here. He he got, yeah, he's gonna. I mean, here yeah, this is one time I'll probably use him as a register. His DLP and support still has to move around. Okay, let's 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 look at this role, right? Yeah, okay. he got the training right. Got deep lines. Okay, you know, it's a deep line playing because it's just okay. So right, you hold his position. That's safe. Again, I've got McGavin. Who's this McGavin? Okay, wow. He's definitely no. He's definitely not a uh, Masala. Okay, Skeffington. Mm, okay, wow. Yeah, I. What what level are you playing in League One? League One is uh, attribute eleven to twelve. Okay, that's what you need. Um. Okay, 11 to 12. What do you have? Do you have any players here? Chang. Chang is okay. All right, so we'll put Chang in here. Okay, Chang, I'll leave him as a Nzala. Okay, he's okay. He can he guess got decent acceleration. He's got passing. He's got vision. He's got decisions. Okay. Uh, with Skeffington, all that we need him to do is get into the area. Uh, play so simple passes. Place one, two. Okay, he can play one, two as a CM on attack, but. Mm, Okay, what about McGavin? McGavin off the ball is pretty decent, but it's not very fast. <clears throat> He's got good composure, concentration. But asking him to get up and down the pitch is gonna be a problem. Because this tactic needs somebody to actually he needs to have decent work rate to get up the pitch. Maybe somebody like this. Um passing vision decisions, flare. Well, if he gets into the area, he's going to try and score, but we can kiss this defense goodbye. <laughs> There's nobody going to be defending the area. Yeah. Um, what else we got? we got? I think we only have this. This guy is too... I mean, he's not... He's not a uh, MC. Yeah. Ooh. Who do you who do you normally play as a CM on attack? I'm like, I'm like struggling to decide who to play. Yeah. Hmm. That's your bottom, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bingham, what about you? Mm. Okay, basically this position is either Bingham or this chap here, Partington. Right, it's one of these two. I'll play Bingham or Partington here. This position is a bit of a problem. So I don't see you having anybody here. Maybe McGavin, but that's about it, man. McGavin, not very fast. Okay, he's got decent auto. I think he's like the best player you have for this. I mean, Skeffington, probably fast enough. Let's try with Skeffington. Alright. Yeah, I will try with Skeffington because he's the only one with acceleration. Okay. Uh, the rest of the players are okay, but yeah. Um, 
not fast enough. Yeah. Okay, so we got Mr. Tang and Mr. Gordon. Okay, he's fast. At least he's going to get out there. He's 12. No, I mean, I won't say he's super fast. This guy is 12. I'm only looking at physicals, man, first. I need somebody who's... I mean, we need physicals. We need somebody who can actually... Um, got good off the ball. Yeah, okay. This guy is not bad. 12, 12. I mean, he likes to break the offside trap. Oh, wait, who's that again? Okay, let's put you in the team. Okay, all right, let's go. The, the issue with this tactic is uh, probably... You need to create some... If you want to sit back and hit teams on the break, Okay, you need the players. You need players who can actually do that. Right? Okay. My recommendation is always this. If you don't have the players to do that, then just go and attack. There's no point defending. There's no point trying to control the space on the pitch because you're just going to get overrun by better players. Right? So that's the, that's the logic. That has always been a logic uh, for weaker sides in real life as well. Right? Weaker sides in real life they will take the game to the opposition, right? Because then they force the opposition to come out, right? And they have to try to, 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 to score goals. Yeah. Look at how Fulham played against Liverpool, right? Okay. Liverpool thought they are going to sit back and defend. So they brought off a you know, big mistake, right? So if you're a smaller side, this is your tactic. We're not going to change it just yet. So if you're a smaller side and you, you want to take the game to the opposition, it's always, it's always better to be, you know, to... To attack them, right? You're gonna control the match against them. You're gonna run into trouble. So this right now, this is what you're doing. You're trying to control these games. Uh, let's just play like that. I don't know what we're gonna use. Okay, why is the touchline tablet on? Okay, why? Why, why is this guy on? Okay, okay. Now, see. Okay, first things first, right? This is your tactic. You got. We gotta pay attention to one, two, three, four. Right. So you're gonna look at all these players. So you got your fullback. The fullback is here. Where is here? These are two players. And where's your CM on the tank? Is this Skeff? It's, no, this not him. Skeffington, right? So you're going to pay attention to all these players. Look at where your... Is that... Your fullback can't be, man. That's ridiculous. Donahue. Yeah. Donahue is here. This guy is here. Skeffington is here. Alright, and this is the inverted that we're going to attack. Right? Okay. Alright, you see, you see what has happened? This is what's going to happen when you do this, right? One, one, two out of position. So what has happened is you've got players coming into that space already. And so you've got, you've allowed players to come. So the idea here is that if you want to play a game where you're soaking or you want to control the space, then you got to think about your duties, right? So your duties are important. Sometimes we win, not because... We, sometimes we, we win we've got very like in this tactic right these players are important you know this player and this player right the central defender and at least this DLP ideally right if I was playing a 4-3-3 I'll always make sure that my DM has got good jumping reach or my, one of my defenders right who's got good anticipation and concentration so you want to win the second ball YT to Skeffington gets into the area uh, it's not bad but here, I, I'm a bit like, oh my goodness, I would want Skeffington to get into the area and score goals. Okay, we're going to make one change here. Okay, we'll, we'll just play for another five minutes. We saw one problem on the left flank, right? It's okay. Now they're going to kick the ball. Okay, as it goes, bang, he wins the ball. Okay, pulls the ball back. Bingham is here. Okay, O'Connor. This is why I like ball playing defenders. One of them has to be a ball playing defender. They will bring... See, now they hoof the ball, right? You bring a ball-playing defender, no matter what level you're playing at, don't be shy about using a ball-playing defender. Okay? Get the guy to bring the ball forward. Make him bring the ball. It encourages the rest of the players to move forward. You, you, if you bring a ball... Ball-playing defenders are so beautiful in this game, especially in FM22. They're just absolutely... I mean, yeah, so they sometimes make these ridiculous, like, long passes. But hey, man... Worth it because they break the tier so almost all the time. Okay, attacking wise, you're I mean, there, right? You got the players attacking, but it's like you know they all harakiri into the area. Okay, so now we're gonna change one more rule. I'm gonna change this guy into an inverted wing on support, right? Yeah, this guy I'll just play him as okay. We're just gonna change the inside forward support so that we can get this guy attacking the area. 
Or maybe not. We just play it safe. <laughs> winger on support. I don't know what this... I want to make space for Skeffington to attack the area. Now this inverted winger and Mazala is fine. Yeah, it can work. These two will combine now to release this space. Okay. Um, okay. Your tempo, you want to be patient in your build-up. That's okay. Um, I would... Hmm. Okay, offside trap can work. Um, for high line navigation, when these guys start the press, uh, I would probably just move it up slightly. Yeah, you still you still be fine. Yeah. As long as your line of engagement is quite high, I will, I I'll be more comfortable getting your players to press. It doesn't mean that they're gonna do it stupid. You know, they're not gonna be daft about it. Okay. In the other version, in the, the other setup, you're asking them to come into the zone and then they start the press. This I'm saying, okay, fine. Yeah, bring the press up one notch. You don't have to bring the press up very high. Just bring the press up one notch. You want to have a really good shape defensively, your line of engagement as well. See, now, you, now we have a lot of attacks, right? They're petering because you're bringing the ball up and the... They, 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 you know, they can't connect with the passes, right? Have you noticed that? Right. So they haven't connected. You see, the, just now earlier we had this wing back charging down the flanks, right? He was char he was going, hey, bring me, bring. Me. You, he kept charging down the flanks. See him on attack, fullback on attack. Both of them are charging down the flanks. You don't need that. So we tell him he can even be a fullback on support. Doesn't have to charge down the flanks. He can be a wing, or you can actually tell him to be a wing back on support. Okay. Now here, you can have a wing band support and then edit his instructions, then dribble less. Okay. You want him to cross from deep, but you can ask him to cross from byline. Here in this particular case, if you cross from deep, he's looking to make early crosses. Who is he going to cross early to? This was an inverted wing on attack. If this guy's an inside forward on attack, I say yes. If he's an inverted wing on attack, no point. Because these guys are more creators, right? So they're going to create more. So let's, let's just change this role to a wing back. Now we got two guys who are going to carry the ball. So you see, got a CM attack here, right? So this is going to encourage the CM attack to actually take up that space. In fact, you can actually go invert the winger here. Inside forward here. All right, you know, that also can work. Now you got Mazala, invert the winger, CM on attack. So you got this creative fulcrum here and one um, winger. Um, uh, this is the only role right now that I'm not too thrilled about. But let's let's do it slowly. You want to attack. You just want to go and show. You just want to take the game to them, right? So far, we're doing okay. We're not. We're not. We're changing it slowly. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm not going to change it anymore slowly. Okay, we do this now. We okay. We raise the tempo slightly. Right. Now we have an advanced forward attacking the line. Okay, now Bingham is the ball. He plays it at McGinty. Mazala finds the fullback on attack. There we go. Okay, together the, with the inverter winger, they're creating a chance. You see, now you've got players working together. And the change on the right flank isn't kicked in yet. This is the left flank. We just fix the left flank only. Okay. You don't need to have him on an attack duty because he, the moment he's on an attack duty, he's going to step and he's going to start going. And then everybody has to catch up with him. Now what we've done is we have kind of told the inverter winger, since you're going to create, we want to create that. Um, you, you you can actually play in different ways. This game, there's no like right or wrong way to play. You, know, you, you can do it so many ways. Like this is one way, right? Okay. Now we've got this wing back. Look at where he is. Okay, so he's gone up. Wait, is that a wing back? Yeah, he's the wing back. Okay. McGinty. Second ball, there's no one here, right? There's nothing you can do about it. This is your, it's just the formation itself. Okay, let's try something, okay? Yeah, this is, this, if anything else, you can, you can work with this, right? That's, it's fine. CM on attack, wing back on support, because this is a rather aggressive flank, so we want somebody, so we got these guys bringing the ball up. Naturally, this is a bit more of a risky thing to do. Um... Yeah, well, let's play it a bit more. I want to see the wing on the right. I just want to make sure about which, which make, a, you know, I want to be a bit certain. 
You don't have... Okay, the, the press doesn't have to be any higher than this. I have lots of good tactics which play with a medium press. What I do is I play a mid block. There we go. You don't have to press, right? Everybody's in a nice position, right? They don't go... They wait for the mistake. Then they get the ball because they're not running all over the place. So you're holding your shape, right? And you're just looking at creating chance. This is like a very patient way of playing. Right? You're not going to lose the ball. You're not going to overcommit. You're not counter-pressing because counter-pressing actually causes you to lose your shape, right? So, okay. And I like it so far. So far, it's looking semi-decent. And if you're in complete, you're completely dominating this game. There's no like, okay, yeah, a chance comes, you know, they, that was a Bazala pass. Okay, we're going to try something. What if you wanted to chase the game? Okay, you. this is where you got to start thinking, okay, if I want to chase the game, what do I do? Right? How do I, um, how do I become a bit more aggressive? Because the moment you become a bit more aggressive, you open up space, right? Okay. Now, we are very um, different. No? The style of play is very, um, it's very measured. So it's going to be tough for the opposition to... Because we you see, look at them. They are keeping the ball in moving forward. That's why you have a ball playing defender for that partic in that particular position. Because if one of those guys are blocked, right? They play back to ball playing defender. The ball playing defender has the option of bringing the ball out of defense. And then it pushes your tactic forward. Like they didn't take a chance there. So now we can actually... You want, remember what you said earlier, you're going to play on balance, right? You can play on balance, no problems. This has got no counter press. So I never have to worry about, oh, we, we might lose, we might um, break our shape. Nope, I don't have to do that. So simple, simplicity. But like all things in Football Manager, everybody wants to score three goals, four goals. Because, you know, every time the AI gets a throw in, you start going, oh my God. I know. Oh, you're going to score a goal. So if you're the kind of if you're that kind of person like me, then you want to come up with a plan B, right? So how do you become more attacking? Well, just leave on balance first, because I uh, don't see any issue. So he's an inverter winger, checks back, looks for support, keeps the ball. Now this is when you decide, right? Okay, do you want an inverter winger? If you play inverter winger on attack, he might be quite far, but at least now he can check back, he can look for a run. This is where you, this play is quite important. Marks, okay, you're doing marks. I'm not going to mess with your mark specific position because I know what you're doing. You're doing something like the Iron Maiden. Okay, cross from deep, you can do this. Okay, so he takes a cross from deep. You can also tell him to stay wider. Hugging the line, right? You can ask him to hug the line. Uh, okay, let's check out YT. 13, oh God, passing nine vision. Agility and balance. No wonder he fell. No wonder he's uh you know he, he screwed up just now. He couldn't. He the moment he turned, he fell over his own feet. Ah, we'll put him on Josh Gordon. Okay, I don't know what your other attributes are like, but I don't know if he's right footer or left footer. I just I just saw elevens and I went okay. We go, we're using him. Because League One is all about elevens, man. You get as many elevens in the right uh, positions as possible. Yeah, you're gonna get promoted. Yeah, as if you win one nil, yeah. If you win one nil, and you control the game, fantastic. But the thing about tactics is this, right? Whenever you create a tactic, you have to find out what your average XG is. I'm not talking about going into the game and then taking all the XG and dividing it. No, I'm not interested. We're not interested in that. Okay, this is gonna make your XG numbers look very wrong. You're going to look at the number of chances that you have made that are at least 0 0.17 or 0 0.2 and higher. That's what you want. Okay. If you can, if you have like three, then it's a question of you getting the right goal scorer. If it's one, fix your tactic. That's all. If you're like me, <laughs> you live on the border of insanity, <laughs> then you... <laughs> Because I like to, I like games where they have a chance of scoring because it's entertaining for me, you know, having to fight back. Uh, uh, if you're like that, then you have to make sure that um, you're always having a, you know, creating good goal scoring options as well as, as well as giving away. But yeah, look, totally comfortable. No drama in this tactic. I mean, this is so comfortable. 
Look at that. You know, Gordon has got a ball. He plays it to Chang. Chang says, hey, Alexander, how's, how's fish? And they get back into position. All the way. Oh, no, no. You're not getting past us. Okay, there we go again. Scaffington, Bingham tries to get it. He's trying something flashy from there. Okay, so that, that is the DLP, right? So, I mean, you want to have that option in attack and defense. That's it. Yeah, we don't have to do anything else. Let's go. Sayonara. Holy commentary. And we speed things up. And no more this. Yep, that's it. So if I were you, I look at your tactic. Your tactic is fine. Yeah, so we got we can even play on balance. Now let's drop it all the way to defensive. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> let's watch the game. <laughs> I believe, right? You can make a tactic. You can play on if your tactic is sound, you can play it on defensive mentality as well. Right, we're not gonna lose, we're not gonna try and give away the ball. That's it. That's it. Low tempo. Okay, we gave up the ball. Everybody goes back to defense. Thank you very much. We got the ball again. Okay. And one over the top. And ooh la la. He should have scored, man. He should have scored. Okay, wherever it is. Do we have to change? Who's Chang? Okay, I don't know who's Richard. So we'll just put him on. We're going to take the ass man's advice. God forbid. Who's bigger than bigger more? Who's parting term? We don't have no idea. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Look, defensive mentality with a tactic. Right? Because when you play with regroup, right? You can play defensive. Very quite easy to do. Because your team is just gonna try to generally keep the ball and do these kind of things. Right? Their chances, they pass the ball, they'll be measured. There's a high possibility that the passes will link. As long as you don't do something silly like, you know, press to the max. So whenever people say you can't, you can't play on defensive mentality, I, I completely disagree. You, you just have to know what you're doing. That's all. Ah, okay. Another thing. You can also drop the offside trap, right? Because if your top players get a bit tired, right? Um, sometimes, I mean, the idea of the offside trap is good. I, I like offside traps because they cause compression in your tactic, right? So you create an unplayable zone behind your back line. But sometimes you, you may not want to do that you just want your players dropping back okay there are pros and cons to both sides because in real life teams do both right okay. so it's this is entirely up to you right. but at the moment i kind of like your the version with the offside track now as, as they attack right your backline is going to drop no there you go they're starting to drop right your backline is dropping so they're letting them okay take a shot if you want right but it's all low quality chances And it's, the, and it's just defensive mentality. That's it. So, yeah. This is how I would set it up. So, your tactic. Yeah. There are not too many things off about it. It's just like, how would you set up a tactic to take advantage of, like, the what we did? So, I think we changed this to inverted wing on support. We changed this guy to a wing back on support. Right? This is what we did. I think other than that, I didn't do much, right? I think that was the only thing. And then we went in here and we raised the tempo. Uh, we can actually, you can do this if you want. If you want, um, then we went in here and we raised this. That's it. And you've got yourself a tactic and they can be played from defensive to attacking. All the zones. Because it's, it's fundamentally quite okay. Yeah. So all you gotta do is because you see the this this group of play this group of roles is quite dangerous because I want oh yeah I also added this right drag um stay wider so that if this guy stays on the stays as wide as possible this encourages like because you've got two players here right okay. so this guy is gonna go to, nearer to the touch line so it drags players to him in doing so you create space if you're pulling players away see I'm gonna take some space this guy is just there. Placeholder. I got no other way to describe him. Right, he's just got, he will he will give you the width if the ball goes to the other flanks. But you're not gonna overcommit. So you're basically attacking with him and him. It's a pretty pretty safe one. Now if with corners is okay, corners is pretty the rule the rule of thumb is very simple. Okay, so you okay. Let's um let's uh reset the default. Okay, so honest. Yeah, this 
is one way of setting up your corners. But you generally want somebody in these two, like these two positions. Generally, what I feel, how I feel is you need someone, need somebody here. The guy with the best jumping is here. Now, another player with good jumping should either be here or here. Depends. I like to have three of them or as many as I can. I, I just want to cover one, two, three, and one more. Normally a fourth. This guy should be, one of them should be Mark Tall player. You saw today as well. Okay, actually you don't need to have any players forward. A lot of people put players like you don't need to. I even I even did one I, I even did one uh, corner routine once, right? Which was so annoying, no? I, mean, I, I think I tried my best to get as many players forward as possible. Okay, so all I did was I had one, two, three, four, and one mark tall, something like this. I have four guys forward. I've covered this zone. I've covered this zone. I've covered this zone. And one guy marking the top. One guy AJ and got four routines with that. That was is another routine. But there are several routines, right? So you've got like the basic routine is the tall guy here. Okay. Tall guy usually here is the best place. And then you put somebody who's got deep, uh, some uh, jumping reach here. And one more tall. Then the rest of the players can be anywhere. Right? Can they can be go back. Right, basically they can be go back if you most of the time I just leave them go back anyway yeah. this position if your goalkeeper has a poor command of area and poor jumping if your goalkeeper has got poor command of area and poor jumping put somebody here if your goalkeeper ha has got good attributes then take him out that's it okay attack attack okay attack is simple okay Attack is generally this, right? Okay, so this is the near post corner routine. All right, it's near post. This is the far post corner routine. Essentially, this is it. So this is the far post corner routine, and this is the near post corner routine. All you got, and then you put generally. Generally, what we do is we put you put a guy with good anticipation here. All right, so sometimes you got a knockdown, right? Boom. This guy is the one looking at the far post. He's the one doing the knockdowns and trying to score. So sometimes you can put a strike there. But this is just is fine. This is fine. And this routine, right? If you want to create a jack of all trades routine, I do that a lot. This is it. So you got near post, far post, right? Covered. Then you got age of area. And then you go sit down here and you go like, okay, I, I'm bored. Okay? I don't want to tell the AI what to do anymore. What have I done? I've now created a tactic, uh, a mix on a routine. So I've got a short picker, which is you can do if you want to. And then you've got um, two guys here, two guys here. I mean, ideally something like this, yeah. That's all. This is like a mix on a routine. So you got all the zones covered for your mix. So the, the puller is taking the uh, routine can do it. But generally, I would say go for near post or far post, that which is simple. The near post, far post, as long as you get these two sorted, right? Then after that, you can do whatever you want to do. Generally, you mark the keeper. It's not a bad idea. This is also, this is my routine. My routine is something like this. Yeah, this is my routine. So this is like far post. Put a guy with long shots here. That's it. And you're sorted. So this is far post. If you want to do a near post, it's just the opposite, right? So this is near post. I always have somebody marking the keeper. Will I make a Palemo playthrough? I'm doing Palemo live streams. Yeah. And then for Palemo uh, playthroughs, I only will do it for the money ball. Yeah. For money ball series. I'm planning to do like a few uh, Moneyball episodes of Parliament Playthrough. How do you make a sit narrow fullback or wing back go overlap? Naturally, Bagaskara, they will sit narrow in defense. When they go attack, they will not overlap as much. Yeah, so if you want them to overlap, you have to remove the sit narrow. You can force him with the go over. You can force it with the uh, overlap team instruction. Okay, so now we got to load the next game. What am I also going to do? Downloads, right? 
I'm, I'm totally lost now in Dropbox downloads. Oh, we gotta find the the single save. Okay, done. And then we're gonna look at it. Hey, Dan Danish, how are you, man? All right. Okie dokie. Let's go for the tactics. Loading the tactics. So we got Brain Drainer. We just seen your tactics. We're gonna look at Brain Drainer's tactic. Holy guacamole. Or 424. Okay, let's go to the balance league. Okay. Load tactic. Brain Drainer. Okay, let's play this tactic. Man. I'm gonna holiday the other managers first. Okay, so. I mean, we can just um, holiday all of them. <laughs> Give them the tactic and then we just uh come back. Hey, you guys want to know where this thought tactics tester is? Is uh, the link is in the description of this video. Yeah. And all you gotta do is just go and download it and then do what I just do. Just find out if your tactic is any decent. We I, I mean created it with the help of the community. So that you know when people ask me like oh is my tactic any when people go like oh my tactic is fantastic you know it's it's it's, it's, it's a great tactic it should do well it always does well and i'm like oh, actually the tactic is not good they go like no it's always worked i'm like okay I've tested that's the whole idea behind the tactics tester essentially it's just to help you get a quick understanding of your own tactic that's it just give it to the s man and off you go man Yeah, you'd have to force it because he's sitting narrow. So sometimes when they sit narrow, what they'll do is instead of um, going down the flanks, right? They actually come inside. So you want, you specifically want an overlap. So if you really want an overlap, why are you asking to sit narrow? I would just go and play him on normal. Don't play sit narrow. Because when you sit narrow, what you what you can do is you can play the overlap, but play with uh, drawing the opposition down your flanks. Your fullbacks are still gonna come in a bit narrow because they're gonna you're gonna allow the opposition to attack you, right? Because you're defending narrow. So why don't you just tell your team to defend narrow, but tell your fullbacks to stay wide? Then you can do the overlap naturally. Then you don't have to worry. Isn't that a much more effective way of doing it? Because. I mean, sometimes I do have sit narrow as a play instruction, but I'm very specific with why I'm using it. Like, I have ball playing defenders, I tell them to stay wider because I want them to leave that position and push out wide when we have the ball. Because sit narrow also affects your attacking transitions. Okay, so let's give it a few matches and then we got one month and let's find out what we can do with this type of thing. Far underdog is doing okay, right? It's top of the table, which is where it's supposed to be, right? Five channel attack, four three three is pretty simple to set up. All you gotta do is play with the with the wing back. Yeah. They're good. I mean, they, but you go camping all the time, so it is possible, hundred percent possible. Okay, um, lost one game. I mean, yeah, losing one game is like no big deal. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you lose one game. Let's see here. Lost two. One one. Okay. This is not so good. Drew three. Huh? The technique needs some work. Against the average team is trying. Okay, this is something that's a bit scary. Okay, this inverted wing back is just gonna play like a regular wing back. He's not gonna come into this pocket and sit here. He's not. He's just gonna be a roaming wing back who sits narrow during the attack. Because he's going to have this sit narrow, he's going to roam from position. Then he's going to cut inside with the ball. But, okay, he's, and with an inverted winger as well. Oh man, this is, uh, nah, you got to change uh, one or two of these roles. Um, roaming playmaker and Volante, Volante pushing up. In this particular case, the Roman, the Roman this guy is going to push up, right? Okay, so you got Volante on the tank. Let's just play this. Okay. Let's just put this tank again. Okay. I will, I'll tell the other managers to holiday. We'll just take this manager. Who's this manager? I'm trying to figure out which manager I'm looking at. This is underdog. Okay, good. And indefinitely, we go. All right, then we go to the elite and tell him to go on holiday. Indefinitely. And we go to this guy and tell him to go on holiday. Indefinitely. 
All right, now we come back to this game. Now we got this tank thing. All of them are having a holiday. We come to our tank thing. Now let's play this game. Oh God, I've got a holiday all the way to the next match. <laughs> You're replacing Zinchenko role in Arsenal. This this gap yeah, is a bit big. We got to play this and see how it pans out. Then we're going to make the changes. Okay, quick pick. Let's go. I mean, they got good players as Volantes, man. Fabian is one of the world's best. I mean, I love him as a DM. He's almost one of my favorite players. Hey, Nuno Susana, how are you, man? So, okay, now we go in here. We check this out. Oh, we watch it on the 2D Classic. And then we play a bit faster. Okay, so we got the game. Uh, we got the ball. Far post. Throw it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to jump up and down yet because I don't I get excited with offside goals. Okay, this is the press. Second ball. See this, uh, okay. Here, the inverter wing is defending. Goes long. Run. Mm, this tactic is solely, solely needs people running with the ball. They really have double DMs and it's very deep like this. You have to have players who are willing to run with the ball. You can't pass the ball. See that? You can't pass the ball. So your tactic right now, you, you saw the problem you had in midfield because during the transition, your tactic failed because um, it the um, players were trying to push up the pitch, right? You know, you know the inverted wing is out of the equation. He's not going to do it. Inverted wing has to run after the uh, has to run after the Segundo Volante who's one mile in front. The only time you're going to have like a lot of natural attacks is when you're in the opponent's half. And look at this, man. you're playing against a deep formation. Okay, let's just make a few changes. All right, first thing I'm going to do is very obviously drop this. Okay, second thing is... I don't need, we don't need the underlap. Um, this guy should be a ball playing defender. <laughs> he shouldn't be, we should not be playing Kula Bali. He sucks. Yeah, this guy should be a wing back. That's the point. Now, this guy should edit and dribble more. Yeah. Now, this player, he should overlap. This will check his runs. This will check his runs, so he will drop a bit deeper and this will push this guy up a bit more. Um, we might as well do this. It's so deep. Right. Be, you're defending basically with these four guys. These four guys are the ones you're defending with. Use title marking. Uh, we, yeah, I can do this and then yeah, go play in the opponent's half. Um, yeah. I think you're better off playing mixed crosses because these guys are quite far away. You got a white target man here. How is the ball going to get to the white target man? Uh, you got them sort. You got them. You know, inverter winger and white target man. Wow. I'm, I'm confused, man. I don't know how this is going to work. Because the white target is going to hold up the ball. And what is he going to do with this ball? Who's he going to give it to? The advanced ball has got only eyes for gold, man. So I would turn this guy into an advanced ball. Turn this guy into a deep line forward, I think. But still, I don't... I'm still struggling here. I mean, we'll try this. But I, I'm not too thrilled with that option as well. But slightly better than the last one you had. Oh, 
ball goes with the second ball. Good. Plays it out. Gets it up. Okay. Not bad. We got something going now. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that you, you might think is damn crazy. You know? I want these guys to actually bring the ball even even further. Not dribble less. I want them dribbling more. Nope. I want them to actually carry the ball even more because we don't have enough options to carry the ball out. Right, so we want to get the we want to push the back line high up the pitch. And the game has changed, right? Since we we made the changes. Uh, then again. Okay. okay, the other thing about this kind of tactics, right? You don't even need to play from behind, uh, from the back. It's really quickly. And kick the ball. You got options, you got two options on the flanks at all times. Look at the transition, it's so much better now. Because now we got wing back, we got volante, they're working together, right? And now they release with the inverter winger with the overlap. Okay. The overlap is only being used to check his run. So he holds up looking for somebody to give the ball to. Right, he managed to score a goal, but never mind. I'm not too excited with goals. Wrong corners. Volante and RBM can definitely work. 100% it works. Oh. But if the moment you use a Volante, because he's a ball carrier, you need somebody to keep up with him. I probably would even consider this. No. Who better than thing? Yeah. Fullback on attack is okay. Wingback on attack is also would be something I might consider. I just want someone to keep up with the volante. So that the volante um he is uh he he has options. Right, because if this volante I is aggressive, so we got this overlap, uh sorry, we got an overlap here, right? So he checks his runs, right? So he checks his runs. This guy's gonna push for that. This is what I want to see. See this bunching up. In that area. Oh, you're looking better. And now we have ball playing defenders who are gonna be a risky player, who are gonna be risky because now you got so many outlets, right? You can bring the ball out with your back line. If you the goalkeeper can play it out to your to your to the defenders if he chooses but we decided to distribute it quickly and distribute it to the flanks it can be a direct form of attack for you and there will be so many players attacking the box now what you can do is work more into box pass into space running defense Why do I play pass into space with run and defense? As the players are running, right, they're dribbling with the ball, right? Okay. You've got, um, you're pushing the defense back, right? You're pushing players back. As you're pushing players back, right, you're going to find players in between the channels. So, why as well take a chance, right? So you've got so many attacking duties. You've got so many players in great positions, no? So, yeah, man, <laughs> it's worth taking that risk. Pass into defense. Like that. So you, you're gonna have options, so many options to attack. And now we got a white target man working with the deep line forward. Yep. Look at that. Boom. They can't get to the ball. Yeah. And don't be afraid of using uh, telling the ball playing defender to take um to take more risks or you know dribble more. I love I love it when I'm doing that with this kind of like deep tactics, right? Where you're you're playing a double DMs. So I'm always telling my ball playing defenders run with the ball. Push everybody forward. Because it will encourage you to move the ball higher up the pitch. Of course, not every single player will do that, right? So some might not, but um, yeah, it's still worth uh, For me, it's worth it, man. 
But it completely changed the, the whole complexion of the match. Yeah, don't don't play with the inverter wing back. There's no point. Yeah. See that? Goes back. He Kula Bali can't dribble, so he won't do it. Yeah, it's not like they're gonna do it like like you know every time. So you can see that the team is still very considered with the way they're using the ball. Bang, we got another goal. But that is offside. But it still is a good move. So we turn that it uh, you can't get out. Look at that. Look at this. So nice. Now, right, with the game coming to an end, right, this is where I'll do this. Advance what? Advance what? Now I turn this guy into an inverted wing as well. You can with this tactic. 100%. You can make these changes. Ooh, please don't concede. So we bridged that. So how did we bridge the gap? We bridged the gap in a very simple way. Two things I did. Got these guys to dribble more, right? We got these two guys to dribble more. Okay. This role can be a white target man. It can be uh, inverter wing on support. If you want to play white target man, this guy becomes a DLF on attack. So that they can work together. Because he's going to hold up the ball. The two of them can hold up the ball. You make space for... Wait, we have wing on support, I think. Yeah, wing bell. We had a wing bell. I, I can't remember. Do you have a wing bell support or wing bell attack? I can't really remember right now. We can play. Oh, yeah. We had a wing bell attack. Yeah, we had a wing bell attack. So this is roaming playmaker. It's going to bust the guy. I mean, yeah, you might as well have attack duties here. There's a reason why. It's because you got two DMs. I mean, how safe do you want to be? So, yeah. You set it up like that. And they can distribute to flanks. You can distribute quickly. We can play different in in a in a number of ways, right? You can play like this as well, right? I mean, or you can go distribute the flanks, distribute and still maintain a player defense because there will be times when the goalkeeper will roll it out and then they will you know they will play it out of defense. But do you need this as an instruction? Probably not. But yeah, so many options. But this is how I would set up your tactic. That white target man got our wing back into play. The wing back just went right round unmarked to take the ball down the line. Oh yeah. See the start of the game when we did then we started making changes to the tactic and see how the chances improved here yeah, after that. Not bad. Okay. Let's see if we have on the more tactics from you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dropbox. I've been, I've been <laughs> neck deep in my own Palermo, uh, Palermo safe. We are, guys, the Palermo safe is something else right now. I'm having so much fun. But we got completely attributeless, right, with the Palermo safe. And, uh, Man, I'm having to come up with metrics for playmakers as well. So I got playmakers done. I've got goalkeepers done. I got inside for us done. Of course, we got strikers done a long time ago. I got my anchor man and my DLP done as well. Right? So I got all those roles done. So I'm slowly putting these roles together. Some roles, of course, you can't. Huh? Okay. So okay, we got most of the tactics in the house, right? We got no more. So I'm gonna share the link uh on 
the, uh, on uh, chat right now so you can upload any tactics you guys want to upload let me just uh, get the link for you guys do 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 public copy link after we'll do a few tactics um first i need to find my Okay. There we go. Links in the chat. If you guys want to pop in and um, you can, um, you know, do those uh, tactics. I want to drink water, I close the cover. So I put the bloody bottle in my mouth. <laughs> I feel like such a moron. <laughs> I just closed the thing. And I want to drink, right? Bloody thing was closed. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, we got one. All of this tank thing. Hello, copy. All right. All right, so we go holiday to the next match. Remember once again, it, there's so many ways to test tactics, right? I've made it very easy for you guys. Um, we have the total tactics test. The description is in the video below. You, all you gotta do is visit the, the Discord. Get yourself. I mean, I can even put a link to the safe if you guys want in chat. And then you guys can uh, do it. And you can download it yourselves. I, the link, I think the link is in chat. Okay, brain drainer no more. Okay, load. What are we doing now? Bielsa leads. Okay, cool. Los Bonanos. Okay, let's go. Alright, we're just gonna play it. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna figure out this. I like to play with your tactics, see what's happening. I don't even I don't even know what's going on with your tactics as far as roles and duties are concerned. Because most of the time I think you guys are making fine tactics, right? These days, like so far all these tactics today, they're not bad. Just one tweak, one or two tweaks. I don't think that I, I'm not full of it, no. I mean, I don't believe that I'm. There's a big difference between the way I play and the way you guys play. Okay, yeah? all right. Usually, it's just maybe you guys may not understand one thing, or you might assume something was wrong, and that's it. Most of you are pretty good at making your own tactics already, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm somebody else. Okay. Um, Actually, your roles and duties look fine. From what I know, your roles are looking fine. The way I'm looking at it, looks fine. But you want to do a Bielsa-esque tactic? You mean, you, the only way to do a Bielsa tactic, your Bielsa tactic, is you have to do specific man marking. No? <laughs> hey, why? You have to go the full way, man. You, if you want to do a Bielsa tactic, right? when people tell me doing Bielsa, I go like, okay. Then you have to mark everybody. I said, man mark. That's what Bielsa's, uh, that's one of the reasons why it's so entertaining watching uh, Bielsa's team play football because you never know where the players are going to be next. Because <laughs> there'll be every... There was one time I saw Leeds defending, right? And I swear to God, I could not tell what they were doing because it was like a line of players. And, you know, there was no... Um, there was no specific uh, shape to the players. This is your tactic, man. It's looking brilliant. Chibala. It's brilliant. I mean, why am I doing this? Why you getting it? Shibala, you're selling it. You're showing off, is it? Shabala, are you showing off? This is a good tactic. I am. Look, 99% of. Okay, there's maybe a very small group of people that are making really bad tactics, okay? That's because they probably assume things like, I have to. In order for me to play defensive football, 
right? I have to play a defensive mentality and I have to play with a low line of engagement and a low defensive line, okay? Right, that is not understanding that the style of the tactic doesn't come from your mentality. It comes from your line of engagement. It comes from your defensive line. It comes from your team instructions, right? That's where the essence of your tactic comes from. And your tactic is quite good. I'm looking at it, I'm going like, hey man, this is how, what am I going to do with this? So if I feel that tactic is decent and I don't want to do anything to it, I'll see it. Okay, so let's give it until half time. <laughs> then we'll do something. Yeah, man, you got to do man mark, brother. Shabala, man mark everybody. <laughs> you want to go Bielsa, do it right. Or don't do it at all. <laughs> Oh man, I love and love, right? Because I mean, it's, I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of you guys, but the thing is this, right? It's true. I mean, some, so uh, I want to make a Bielsa tactic. I did that as well. I was, a, I was one of those guys who did it. I want to make a Bielsa tactic, but I, I was very specific when I did the video, right? I said, but I am not man marking everyone. <laughs> I said that in the video. I'm not going that far. <laughs> it was suicide football, man. But type marking is the way to go. You did team type marking. Very good. And you play with a compressed line. I saw it in the tactic. See? Okay. What you can do is do this. Okay. What you can do is play the offside, right? We can create the compression. I suspect you went tackle harder. Tackle harder. Okay. All right. Okay. You want to add that you can you half back, pull back attack. Okay, half back, right? They split the three. Yeah, let's watch this again. The thing about me and halfbacks is this. If I play with a halfback, I'm almost always playing with wingbacks. Because I want these two to split even more. And that only that usually happens with wingbacks. Okay, so we go. Hey, we, okay, your tactic, there's nothing wrong, okay? There's nothing wrong with tactic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different in your tactic. Hold on. I'm just gonna go dribble more. Yeah, I've got psycho right now. Dribble more. I'm totally psychotic now. Wing back attack. Or rather, we do wing back attack. Come on. This is uh, probably... Why, com why complete forward? You don't have to roam all okay, I can't roam. Roam from position, everybody's roaming. Tackle harder. Okay, this guy, we're gonna, we're gonna ask him to sit narrow. No, this guy shouldn't sit now. This guy's gonna attack the space. Okay. Let's stay wider. Okay. Okay, mark tighter, mark tighter. In fact, I'm just gonna remove this. Uh, how do we how can I do this without messing up the whole thing? Uh okay, all right. We're gonna mark tight with everybody except for the two defenders. Okay, I tell you what, we we oh, we just remove this first. Okay, we just come in here. Mark tight everybody. That's it. Okay. It's problem solved. Okay, Bielsa, right? Go less. Oh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And then these two got a problem. Wing back, wing back. It once for uh, this guy. Edit. Stay wider. Edit. Stay wider. Edit. Sit narrower. Yeah, this guy stay. This guy's gonna go around. This drown the camel says. Okay, this is slightly different version. Yeah, your tactic is fine. I'm just making something a bit more crazier. Okay, so what I've done is, okay, this is a very attacking tactic, right? But I'm mean, playing with a halfback. I want the halfback to split. I, I want him to split this. So I want these guys to get up even high. I want them to be even higher up the pitch. So I'm using wing backs instead of fullbacks. Now fullbacks, the difference between a fullback and a wing back is this: fullback sees obstacle, gives the ball inside. Wing back sees Oslo, I'm gonna try and beat him. That's the one difference between the two roles, right? So this is a very aggressive setup. So you can't ask him to dribble less. No, it's not gonna happen, right? So 
Let's go. Let's, let's see what happens, man. I'm curious. Mine is a bit more psychotic. Is that the changes haven't kicked in yet? Man. We're still using your version. Davi Nunes. Okay, no worries, man, brother. Okay, ah, now is this is our version, okay? So this is my version. <laughs> this is the insane version. So, okay, there we go. Win, 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 win. Only half back is here. Go back. Get there. Ah, the split is bigger. You see the split now? They're further away, right? It's it's a small it's a small difference, but a lot of people probably won't pick it up. It's a it's an ever slight small difference, right? With the, with the two players. Okay. Cool, sweet thing. Okay, I'm gonna try something even more insane. <laughs> insanity is something I do. No, insanity is, isn't something that I do. Insanity is something that I am. Okay. We're going to make these guys go wider, man. No. It can be done. Like, these guys go a bit wider. Right. This halfback is going to sit. Yo, very attacking setup. No? Okay, now we're gonna make one more change. Okay, uh, right defense, pass into space. Okay, that's it. Now you see the three at the back, right? Because yeah. you want that. I know what you want. You want the three at the back, right? So I'm gonna give you the three at the back. But it's a bit. This is a bit dangerous, right? Without playing the three at the back, but you have these gaps opening up now. Right, this gap, the gaps will definitely open up because you're not pushing those ball playing defenders out a bit more. The halfback sits a bit, so you gotta choose the right kind of halfback as well. So Avabian is a bit different. Um, there, there are no traits in this one, so I'm not giving influence by your traits. Hey Jayet, how are you, man? Eh, this split is so nice now. You got. Big ass split in your tree. You get like you get those tree defender effect that a lot of people want. All right, okay. This is a bit rushed, right? So this is a bit rushed. We can go. Let's try. Let's let's see what happens when we go a bit wider. Oh, you just had an offer on a new house accepted. Congratulations, man. Hope you get the key soon. Guys, this is too sweet. It's not bad. I like this version. Your version is good. I'm just giving you an alternate. I'm just letting you see. Your, there's nothing wrong with the way your tactic is set up. Absolutely nothing. If you want to go and play with the tactic. But I'm just showing you how you can get those ball playing defenders to split when you're playing half with a uh, half back right it's a slight difference but once you start seeing it you will keep noticing it all the time all right so let's see we've got other tactics coming in here we got manuel let me see your tactic and then we got beyond ultra gaming as well okay we'll do one at a time yeah, I'm gonna have to delete all those I've done already, right? So Okay. Uh let's come in here. Let's the open a new window. And downloads. Where's this? Manuel. Which one is manual tactic? 
The other at least 431 and this must be it right 431 arrow yeah all right next game but have you been influenced by the meta with people talking about the narrow meta hey you know 442 is a very good tactic yeah you don't have to play the narrow to the narrow meta there's no i mean i mean yeah i mean i respect everybody's point of view I just feel that you definitely you when you play narrow like this, you're also gonna run the risk because here, yeah, I'm gonna be very quick, right? This narrow tactic doesn't it's a hoof hoof the ball tactic. Why these guys need to get out of the pitch? Whenever you play with two DMs, you got to get these guys up the pitch, right? You gotta get the back line up the pitch. You gotta push because there's gonna be a gap here that needs to be addressed. This guy is pushing this way. This guy is pushing this way. This guy might drop, which is nice. But these guys have to bring the ball up, right? And um, these guys have to hit the center of the, the pitch. And if you don't, you might have issues during the transition. But let's just watch what happens here and you see what I mean. So I would play it differently. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the 4 2 3 one arrow. I don't think there is... You can make it work, but... Um, You can always have these issues have having to defend. So let's watch it for the first 45 minutes and hopefully we can fix it. Yeah, I, I said it right. Hopefully we, I don't mean I don't mean it in a bad a bad way, right? But yeah, sometimes I sometimes you might be using I can't build the play up from the back. Happens with these deep systems if you don't give them options, like you don't tell your defenders to run with the ball, for example. Of course, you run the risk of losing the ball. But you are playing with a double DM system intentionally, right? So if you don't have players like that, then don't play with one like that. Otherwise, you have to play hoof the ball. Put the ball in the air and hope somebody like that and hope somebody buries your chances. That's your only other option. Okay, so... All right. We now go to key highlights. See as much as we can. I think we've seen, it. We've seen quite a lot, right? So, so far, there has been no coherent build-up from the back. Now control as well. Um, yeah, we we scored one goal from a highlight, um, a free kick. Yeah, but we want to see um, something happening from open play, right? So where's the match stats? So match stats possession forty seven fifty three. So far, nothing has happened from open bail, although we are getting thanks. Ooh, I mean, maybe you should just stop it here, man. <laughs> I mean, it's winning, so... I mean, the final analysis of any tactic is gotta win. This is like a... This is a safe tactic. Don't get me wrong. It is safe. It is very safe. Right. Work ball into box, pass shorter, run in defense. Nothing here. This guy's carrying the ball. He's got Volante. I like the idea. Okay, this is good, right? I normally think that right, you want to have the same duty for Volante. If the Volante is on attack, the role beside him is going to be attack. Volante has support, put him on support. I don't know. Don't ask me there's a logic behind it. I just, from playing the role for so long, I've basically figured that one out. This guy should actually be a roaming playmaker, not a deep line playmaker. Okay. I know why you play with a DLP. It's a safe option. Again, if you don't have one, then you go with this. This guy pushes up. Um, stay right like this is fine. So, I mean, on the whole, I would say, yeah, we're looking inside for the pass, shorter tempo. I mean, but I, I mean, on the whole, as a tactic, it's fine. I mean, I have something similar. This guy, okay, this guy stays white. This is something that you did. Okay, good. Oof, actually, your tactic is fine. Yeah, don't change it. This is safe. If you want to change it, just change this guy to a roaming playmaker. That's all. Open on attack, DLP. It's safe. Yeah, there's nothing. I think I would change about this tactic, man. I mean, originally I didn't like it, but you're playing on a low tempo, so there's plenty of time for them to build up. Don't ever change, don't ever raise your tempo. If you have to play <clears throat> balls from the back, right? What you do is this: if you have to, if you have to chase a game, 
Then this player, go find yourself a tall AP, a big, strong AP. You're talking Milinkovic, Savage, big, okay? Then what you do is you hoof the ball up to him. He holds up the ball and then you can play it. So it's your, it's your get out geo card. So that's, this can be a simple counter-attacking, defensive tactic that you use against better sides. You will control matches. I won't say you will control matches. You will do okay. Uh, right defense. Okay, this overlap and underlap, you don't need it. Okay, you don't need the overlap and underlap. If you want to get those guys high up the pitch, like, you know, this guy can still be a fullback on a thing. Yeah, that's it. You'll still look inside for the pass. See what I mean? Those guys are always going to play those kind of passes, right? One over the top, one over the top. Every day, until it's Sunday, this guy's going to do it. They're always going to look for those kind of passes. So we change it to a fullback on attack. It's okay, I, I changed. I'll change this guy to a fullback on attack. That's it. Yeah. You know, that's the problem with this kind of tactics. You run. This run and defense, right? Dribble less is better. If you want players to run at defenses, you want these guys to do it. <coughs> you want these guys to do it. Right? You don't want everybody to do it. Okay, so you get these guys to do all the dribbling, right? Running at defenses. So they are the ones that do this. These guys keep it up. Um, here, I probably my first choice is actually roaming playmaker. So you can keep up with your team. Right? Roaming playmaker Volante. Now, if you don't have that, they can play go with uh go with a uh, DLP. But I would probably play fullbacks on a thing. Yeah. That's how I would set it up. Okay, next tactic. Do 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 beyond ultra gaming that's you man okay download copy paste Madok, you've stopped playing around New Year's and just started playing again and wanted to try something different. Yeah, PS will make a bit more sense because otherwise you might have too many players trying to dribble, right, defenses, and then you lose the ball. Uh, I'll get the front three to do the running. Yeah. Okay, next tactic. Beyond Ultra Gaming. Which one is yours or beyond this one? Now, thank you for naming it like that. That was, makes it easier. Holy cow. Hey, why do you do this? Okay, I'm not going to change the tactics. Shit, I'm supposed to play these tactics, right? <laughs> I want to make a change straight away. You can't believe it. I saw the tactic. The moment I saw the tactic, I got it. Why are you doing this? Come on. Play differently. <laughs> Jeez. What's wrong with me, man? Okay, let's go. Not DLP. I don't know what I wanted to do. I saw a DLP that I was like going, oh, man, DLP. All right, fine. DLP is okay. It holds this position. I want to put Mazala, Mazala, wing back on attack, wing back on attack. You get the ultimate crossing, D you get the ultimate crossing 5 3 1, uh, 5 3 2. Now all you got is two strong strikers in front. You got ball playing defenders staying wide. Wing back is pushing up, pushing up. Your central uh, ball playing defender on defense most of the time. Just watch, right? We'll change that very soon. Aye, aye, aye. Something's wrong with the defensive setup. Okay, this type kind of tactics, right? This defender is the most important defender in your threesome. He has to have good, the best jumping reach, anticipation, and concentration. Don't pick anybody else. You always want to put the guy with the best heading in the center. Best jumping reach, anticipation, concentration. Right? He's the numero uno guy because you want somebody who can read the game and then get to make the stop because he's gonna have to step up here okay all right okay 
nothing's happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this guy to Masala on support. Change this guy to a wing back on attack. Change this guy to a wing back on attack. Change this guy to a... I'm not even looking at instructions. No, 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 no. no. You go change this guy to a ball playing defender on defense. Why am I not choosing a white center back? Okay, white center back is going to come up the pitch and he's going to try and cross the ball. You can do that if you want, okay? So maybe you like one centre back. I, mean, I shouldn't be the sort to change people's uh, roles. Okay, maybe you like the white centre back. Okay, so you like the white centre back. So we're gonna go mess here, mess here. So these guys, uh, he's gonna stay by the these guys. No, you don't. Need, why do you have to? Why does he have to be on cover? Ball playing defender, defend. Come on, try don't be. Get up there, do some defending. Okay. Pass it shorter, no need. We don't have the pass it shorter. We want to attack these, these teams. How dare they come and try and beat us? Tackle harder. Shoot more often. Now we're gonna get. Yeah, this is like when you get. Because the Mazala attacking from here doesn't really give you much penetration. Mazala will give more, much more penetration from a deeper position if he's running at the defense, right? I know you got him on the attack duty, but there's nobody giving him width. So if you want to do it like on the attack duty, the way that you set up, then this guy's got to be a deal. Uh, this guy's got to be pushing up as an advanced wall, and this guy's got to be giving the width. So if you want this to be attack, so you got to do a double attacks here, and then what you need to do is you gotta you can't play a white center back, but let's play the white center back because. You know, I, I don't know. I might be hurting people's feelings, but you know, they might want to go. Why? I want to have my white center back. Okay. All right. Um, headless chickens are going to be occupying the center of the pitch when you do this. So let's not do that. All right. You start marking. It's fine. Get stuck. It will be brutal, man. We'll be brutal. As in... Immediately, we can see the goal and it look like an ass. Come on. I normally play a player with. Good crossing. Good crossing. Oh, the one in the center is the... Oh, shit. I just said it, right? I haven't even checked. <laughs> Anticipation 17. Good. Jumping reach 16. Good. You? Anticipation 15. Jumping reach 16. Not so bad. White center back. Oh, dear Lord. Concentration 8. <laughs> Why are you playing this team? Hey, you, you even better, man. You come here. You just go away. <laughs> go away. Don't come back. <laughs> I, I saw the player. I just realized. Oh, why is he playing the thief? Oh, my dear Lord. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's watch this. Okay. We got a highlight. Let's just see a bit more. Okay. Look at that. That's a crossing machine, brother. You saw that? The wing back is going. I'm getting up the pitch. I'm gonna get there, sir. I'm gonna put the ball in. Yeah, we've got width. We've got danger. We've got goal. <laughs> this is how you play a 5 3 2. Don't ever play a 5 3 2 with two wing backs on support. Play them on an attack duty. Be bold. You got five at the back. Already. Yeah, you got ball playing defenders. They're supposed to go out there and cover the space. See that? But if you play with these maximum pressing settings, your defense will be poor out of shape. In fact, you can even do something like this, right? Let's just let's try something. Completely insane. Very out of character for me. Completely out of character for me. No prevention of going, baby. Do 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 do. I, I realize that you play with this. So please remove this because when you do progress all goalkeeper decision in the back five, any mini mini more. Maybe not this too. Maybe you go any mini mini more. You know who's going there. You have no clue who's going to be preventing short goalkeeper distribution. So I would recommend not playing with it. Now, uh, 532, you should try not to. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to play prevent. What you can do instead is do this, right? You can tell these guys. I mean, you can ask him to. I mean, we could, yeah, you can come in here, dribble more, sure, okay, fine. And then, yeah, this is this is good enough. You can mark tighter as well. I mean, since you're going to use, I mean, since you're looking for all the options to, since you're looking for all the options to take, right, let's go all the way, no, I'm just joking. Uh, dribble more is fine. Shoot more often? No, just, um, that's not, 
shoot more of, if, if no, 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 no. If anything else, because you've got a second partner with you, you would choose shoot less often. The reason why you choose shoot less often is, is there a shoot more often is, okay. The logic is this, right? In most cases, when the strikers get into the area, if he's alone, right, then unchecking it is fine. Or uh, even having shoot more often is fine. But when he has got another partner with him, he might look for a better option. He might play it to the other striker and, you know, so be, c'est la vie, score. Now we are playing a slightly different setup. He's so hitting on the break. Oh my god, I'm asking for trouble. Why do I do this to myself? No, because, you know, we want to do crazy stuff. Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Okay, good time. Let's go. Oh, see, man, the wing back gets out of the pitch. He says, hello, I'm free. Oh, goes back. Boom. Yeah. Alright, no, no problem. Defending quite well. Nobody's going out of their way. Yet. <laughs> he lost the ball. Here we, here we go again. Oh yeah, baby. See the attacking pattern. That's how Mazala just got out of the pitch, right? Okay, look at this, man. Now we're going to do this. Okay. All right. There are several ways you can hit this. This trigger press instruction. Okay. Now I'm pretty high up the pitch. The rule of thumb is this. Okay, the lower you are, you can afford to go backwards, right? So if you want to do something like this, right? Which is possible, you do it like this when you're like this. That way, hey guys, stay where you are. Do not move from your given position. That's what you just told them to do. Okay. This is like a mid block, right? But now you are quite high up the pitch, so you better ask them to move because they're gonna get past you you're in trouble, right? So this is when you do. So anytime you're playing at a halfway, like higher defensive line and higher, like this, go slightly more often. Right? I sometimes do this because I'm insane. And my wife thinks I'm in, I need mental help. I need psychiatric help. But you know, life is short. Do crazy stuff. Okay, we go there. Okay, I want to show you one more thing, right? It's damn fun about this combination. This combination is really quite cool. Now, you see why they want to play with a white center back? Okay. This is the reason why this white center back is gonna go, hey, I'm gonna do a diagonal. Waste my time. He really wastes, he really wastes a lot of the people's time. Okay, go ball play defender. And they okay, dribble more. Carry the blady, the baby up the pitch. Alright, he carries the baby up the pitch. Your wing back is already pinning their full back, right? If Mazala has got the occup uh, uh, occupy the attention of the midfield. What does this guy do? One over the top. That's what he's gonna do. That's what we do now. Right? Yeah. Now remember this, we got regroup. This is like a defensive setup. It is defensive, brothers. Yeah. I, I've done look at this. Dribble more. Yeah, baby. Let's oh no 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Stay wider. So we split the three defenders. Because if we don't stay wider, what else happen is all these three guys are gonna hold hands and they will start dancing in circles. So I said it's very, very annoying. So you don't want that to happen. So we already earlier we showed you how to do a halfback split, right? You push those central defenders even wider. So you get your three at the back with a halfback in the back four, right? Now this is gonna create another dynamic. But now we're just looking for one over the top. Huh? Yeah. You can play on any mentality now, right? You can play on a low mentality if you want, you can play on a high mentality if you want. Yeah. Okay. And we get player sent off. Okay, now we're gonna try. I mean, now we've already got quite a number of players, right? So I think this is fine. Okay, let's not let's stop making changes, man. Like, like I'm trying to. Oh my god, I'm taking all these buttons because I want a highlight to come. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> let's watch the game. Uh, look at the boys, man. There's no way it is. No way, Jose. Come on. Yeah, you saw the difference between the first five minutes and now. It's a big. There's a world of difference, bro. We're in the zone of our own. We're playing around this defense and they don't know what to do. And look how safe you are. Okay. This is like, you're telling this team, okay, all of you, this is not a dumb thing to do. This is a dumb thing to do. And this would be stupid because you've got backfire, right? Any one of these guys double picks a player, they, because what's going to happen is two of them will go for the same player. Maybe three, it opens you up. Uh, so with a back five, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you don't need to. 
right? That's the reason why that player is deemed, this player is the most important player in your team. He will almost always be the first person to jump. Almost always be the first person to, hey boss, I'm going to get to go for the header. And at the number of times my back five systems have collapsed, I've lost count because I had the wrong player in there. Yeah, here you go. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the fish. Okay. This is what this is just a testing link, right, guys? You you can do the same thing with your own tactics. I already told you that you can find the link in this description of the video. Diego means mastering. Wait, hold on. Manual, your tactic is did I do this? I think I've done this, right? So I've done this to delete this. And now we got this tactic. Okay. All right, let's go. This, 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 this. And do 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 do. What am I doing? Sometimes my stupidity surprise doesn't. I mean, I, by now at this age, my stupidity does not surprise me anymore. <laughs> yes, Clavini. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, this is a long way to buy Leverkusen. But we'll get there eventually. So we'll do these next two tactics and then thanks for coming. We'll do it again next Wednesday. Once again, the guys on Discord, you can send me a save as well. I'll give you the link next week. We'll just put it in a save and we'll just run with it, right? We'll just look at a save in a tactic as well. So it's very quick. Balance Teams League. Once again, I'm going to use this because it's a tactics tester. We, I did, me and my friends, we designed it for you guys so that you guys can go and test your own tactics. You don't need me anymore. <laughs> because in the background, we are still testing somebody's tactic, right? <laughs> we can go to leaks in focus. We don't, have to, we don't have to stop the... Okay. So, meanwhile, this is where we are. Okay. All right. The other tactic that we, we gave the manager to play indefinitely was the 4 2 4, right? It's not, it's not dominating. It's supposed to dominate no, this league and dominate this league. But it's not doing so badly against the underdogs. Hmm. Not bad, zero. It could do better here. Okay. All right. We're in a foot race with Liverpool. Okay, so let's go and load. Um, with them, Piazza, which one is yours? I think it's this. Okay, let's play. No, no looking at the tactic until we play. Then we'll try to figure things out. Anchorman, I just saw the rule. Mm. Anchorman doesn't venture very far away. So you get like this uh, group of three, right, defending. So you, you're creating a very tight area, right, like this. Um, I would use an Anchorman when I want to use very attacking fullbacks. Right. Maybe I want to have like a system, right? Where I got full bad attack, full bad attack, inside forward, inside forward attack. All of them on attack, right? Maybe even a CM on attack. Then I will say Anchorman is a good role to have in that kind of a setup. There's nothing wrong with the Anchorman. Most of you guys are already making brilliant tactics. I'm not going to... Well, half the time, what am I doing in the show? I'm giving you options. That's what I'm doing. Most of the tactics are very, very good. Roaming playmaker, Mazzara, not bad. Very safe. Inverter wing back, hopefully Mazala on attack. Inside for winger. Okay. Alright, get it. Um, what this tactic can potentially create is uh overload on the right side with the guy on the left side coming in to score. So it's important to find the right player. Now, if you're gonna play this tactic, the inside forward, get him with jumping reach. Right? Get one with good jumping reach because then you're golden. You're golden, you'll do very well. Hey man, no worries when we are ultra gaming. Ah, I'm okay, man. I just uh, my son was in hospital. My son was in the hospital. I have to bring my son to the hospital. My sons are still not feeling well. One of them is because uh, the younger son had a viral fever, right? It's a very bad viral fever. And now the older son has got a viral fever, and my wife have a viral fever. I'm the last man standing in the family. Everybody around me has a viral fever except for me. 
I'm the only one who hasn't been affected by something tells me I'm going to be next. Either that, I'm so unhealthy that the viral fever can't do anything to me. Oh man, I'm just joking. I hope I don't get it. Man. Okay. Things we need to do, man. So far, half time, right? We'll play until half time. I'm not winning the ball. I'm seriously not winning the ball. Okay. We need to change this tactic. All right. Okay. We played your okay. We've used your tactic at the half time, right? So that's fair because I don't want to make changes after five minutes. I'm just gonna make recommend some changes and hopefully we get back into the game. Okay, first up, attacking pass into space. Like you, this is very high risk tactic. Pass into space and work ball into box. Don't get this. So you want players to play the ball into space, which is look for through balls, but you don't want them crossing the ball. You want them to take their time to do it. So this one you have to play on a very low tempo. And you have to be a very, very good team. you got to be able to keep the ball and keep pressure on the opposition team, which means that you got to be playing so high up the pitch. You're not doing that. Right, so, let's go up the pitch. If you want to play something like this, this is what you got to do. Right, okay. Then, um, ball, ball. You don't, okay, we can go wider. Be more expressive. This is like, this is throwing every single thing at the wall to try to do something creative. And you know, let's just go now. Let's just hit the go button and see what happens, right? This is just the first kind of changes I will make, but there's more. Because you want to see what that does. Because now we're playing high up the pitch. Remember how they were attacking us all the time just now? Okay. We have to change that. So this is going to send us high up the pitch. I haven't gone to the duties yet. We have to do this after about four minutes. So far, there are no highlights, right? Our highlight again. So that means we are doing something right. Okay. 100% we're doing something right. Okay, done. Okay. Mm, okay. So what I can do right now, distribute quickly, I mean. All right, okay, fine. Um, done, done, done. Let's look at the duties. Full back attack. Mazala, 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 Mazala on attack. Uh, okay, Mazala on attack with a wing on attack and the inverted wing back coming this side. Now, we go CM on attack. Push through the middle. All right, so we get a CM on attack instead of a Mazala on attack. Now, if I do a CM on attack, it's going to drive through the center, inside forward. Okay, so Mazala on support is also possible. We go box to box. Let me think. Winger on attack gives us width. Inverter wing back comes in here. We need this guy to do something. We need him getting up the pitch. We need him to move away. Yeah, Mazala still can be okay. Go back on attack, ball playing defender. We need this guy to be a ball playing defender. There is no way you're going to play anchor man with one ball playing defender. The other one's not play ball playing defender. Play with both of them ball playing defenders. Inverted wing back is fine. Okay. Uh, pass into space, play our defense. What about the ball be more expressive? Um, okay. We can drop it to positive mentality. Okay, let's go. I mean, that's. There's a part of me that wants to push this guy up the pitch. But this is different, right? So earlier they were, they spent all their time attacking us, but now we are in their third and winning the second ball. Okay, so now we just have to score the goals. That's it. Fix the tactic. Okay. All right. This version is okay. It's but you, you, You're going to have to be so good at keeping the ball that... You can score goals, right? This is the only problem with this tactic right now. So I'm going to drop the tempo to some really low level. Yeah. Um, we're not going to distribute quickly because it, there's no point to distributing it quickly because the, you, you're pinning everybody back. Okay. You're using an anchor man. You're attacking all these roles. You're playing in such a high mentality. There's, and then you want to pass into speed. I know the, the style. This style is like one of you want to patiently probe, and this is literally, I want to patiently probe and score goals on because you got work ball into box. Right? Now, why if you want to have a better tactic with the third man runs, right? You know, those blind men, blind men running into the box, then you do this. Right? You still have the option because now this guy is going to run into the box. Okay, He's running into the box, we've got a winger, 
But inside forward. Inside forward is going to come this way. Inverted wing back. Take more risk. Direct passing. Bang. Okay. So inverted wing back is going to come into this pocket, right? When he comes into this pocket, he's like a second playmaker, but he's from a deeper position. Ball playing defender is also like a second playmaker. He can push here. Inverted wing back comes inside this pocket. He's going to re look for this player. Yeah, so now we've got the unmarked third man, right? So we're going to get the option from the um, center, central midfield on attack. Hopefully, we now Zelinski and Tonali. Okay, hold on, we got to swap these two guys. Right? So, when, the thing is, whenever you play with an anchor man, you want the roles around the anchor man to be a bit more aggressive. That's basically it. No, oh, we lost the game. Last. Chick, chick, chick. You gotta be a bit more aggressive with this. So if I were you, I take this tactic, right? You need to make it a lot more. I mean, attacking pass into space. You can you, you go to the opposition half. If you wanna play a mid block, this is a mid block, right? And then you play like this. It's aggressive. You're keeping. Play. They get in here. You're gonna try and win the ball. And then when you try to win the ball, pass into space, then it makes sense. This makes sense. Okay. No, then you take, sorry, you take what ball into box out. You remove that entirely. Then you play like this. This is a more attacking version of the tactic. But now you, you, you're you drawing teams into a, a, a kind of a block and you want to try and hit them. Okay. Now let's make another version. This version removes pass into space. I mean, you can do this as well. I like this combination. Run into defense with pass into space. Remove this. Okay. Right. This, you're pushing because you got these attack duties here. Running your defenders, right? Okay. Then you've got this inverted wing back coming in here. Again, I will probably use a CM on attack. Guy comes in here. And now you've got uh, these guys pushing at defenders, dribbling. And then you've got players that can play those passes in the space. So this is another version of the tank. Alrighty. We got the last two after that i'm gonna we gotta call it because my kids are gonna be home already and we'll do this again next week or the week after probably the week after next week i'll uh, do it on discord oh diego misa long time no see man hope you're well hope you're well sorry i'm not looking at the camera i'm just trying to get this thing in okay mastering the gig and press why am i doing like this i'm so old is it when do you stop learning how to use the computer? Can I just push your tank again? Here go, there it is. There go, Misa. Look. There, 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 there. Where is your tank? Ah, it's just the one. Same principle. Okay, if you want to do this, you might as well play here. Yeah, if you want to do this, play here, have the outside trap, okay? When you want to go max, go max all the way, right? You can drop it to something like this, but have the outside trap. Otherwise, you can do it like this. It's also perfectly viable. Uh, I'll probably drop this to positive. Um, this can work, yeah. Extremely high tempo is too rushed for the mentality. For this, men the attacking mentality is too rushed. You're going to give away a lot of chances. You're better off just dropping the tempo. Uh, fullback, fullback. These guys are too far away. They're attacking, right? With this guy dropping. This role should be a wingback. Yeah. Play a wingback. Change this to a wingback. Don't play fullbacks. What you can tell this guy to do is to come in here and tell him to dribble less. That's it. And ask him to cross from byline if you want, right? Or deep. It's entirely up to you. Just do it like this. You'll be fine. Yeah, I get this. This is a different one. This is like when you're in the opponent's half and you don't play whip crosses. Okay, whip crosses is basically only advantages if you are attacking with uh, players, uh, attacking the line, right? So a whip cross is only helpful if you have a striker or somebody who can break the offside trap and it's got very good acceleration. Otherwise, don't bother using it. It's very limited. The, the usage is very limited. Just go mix a whip cross doesn't mean the cross is going to be faster because that's the impression I got when the first the first time I played Championship Manager. Oh, whip cross, it must be fast. No, actually, it's not. Yeah. 
So trust me, I've, after years and years of research, yeah, whip crosses, don't waste your time. Low crosses is important for cutbacks. Floater crosses is important for uh, sides that uh, play a target man. But I find that mixed crosses is the most optimal. Yeah, Unless you are camping tactic. Both boy into box, then go low crosses. But this tactic, as it is, is fine. They, we don't have to change anything. But I will just change this too. And this, this, this. The reason why I'm not, I'm not playing anymore is because the kids are almost home. So I need to go and deal with the kid. I'm going to have to deal with my son. I almost say deal with my son. That sounds terrible. My son is not feeling well. Right? So I'm going to have to be daddy with a plan. <laughs> he's going to... He's gonna want me to entertain him. I'm like a family comedian. But overall, the this tactic it can work because this guy's gonna punch up and down. This guy's gonna come out the pitch, but you have to play this at wing backs. That's it. <laughs> you can use center backs, you can use ball playing defenders. The more okay, you want a again pressing system, I recommend ball playing defenders. But if you don't have them, go with the central defender. That's fine. I don't want every single. I, I I'm just I'm just a huge fan of the ball playing defender, man. Yeah, for me, I love ball playing defenders in very attacking tactics. But you don't have the right player for it. It's a very expensive role because you might lose the ball. So if you don't have good first touch and agility, that guy doesn't cannot dribble the ball. Like it doesn't go first touch. He doesn't have first touch. Please play central defender. Please, please, please. Don't listen to this bad advice I give out. <laughs> and ball okay your tactic let's look at your tactic hey, your, hey, why am I doing it here idiot I'm like uploading it back here again moron <laughs> oh man and ball come here alright load do, 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 do. I'm looking for end ball here though. and there's no end ball here don't how, ah, there we go forest oh my god Bo 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 double ball winning midfielders. <laughs> Don't do this, man. Okay, you can you can use this ty total tactics test to test it out. I'm not gonna test it out, but please don't, man. Okay, we just we just holiday mode, right? Okay, one game. Alright, one game. Okay, go on holiday. What's the next game they have? Okay. They are playing Augsburg. I mean, they should hammer Augsburg, man. Go on holiday. Let's go, let's go. What's the day? We just want to see the result. Okay. 20th of October. It might it might work, you never know. Okay. 20th of we come back on the 21st. Okay, 21st, 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 use 21st. Get okay, done. That, oh, it's making changes. So you know, you are, you are, you scored 15 minutes versus Atalanta. Well done. I'm so happy that my recommended changes have seen you get an immediate benefit. Yeah, let's go right. We'll see this. Ball, double ball play. One is already quite risky, and I, mean, I and I don't mind it. I think in a four two three one actually a four uh, ball winning midfield is pretty solid role. But two, oh, two is risk, two is super risky. But look at that man, he managed to win, hands down, no problem. First goal was a penalty, because the thing is when you have okay, let me let me suggest one thing. Ball winning midfielders. The reason why. A ball winning midfielder is, is is risky, right? They will try and win the ball high up the pitch. But you're playing a 4 2 3 and stop heavy, right? So it's kind of like not a bad thing to do if you think about it this way. Because they, they're aggressive in the final third. It's a very aggressive setup. So this is like an aggressive, I'm going to play near half and to hell with it if I lose the game. Right? If that is something that you like, go with it. Or you can just do this. Central midfielder support. Then choose a player. Okay. You can change though in, in a game, right? You can pick, you, you go and get one who's like a playmaker, right? Then you go put him in there. He likes to dictate tempo. That's it. He's got good mentals, he's got physicals. He's, he's like, you know, he could be this player. He'll play to his attributes. Right? He'll be like a very defensive. But if this, this player has got dictates tempo, he'll be like a playmaker. If this guy's got gets into opposition area, then he's gonna, he's, this guy's gonna win, but he's gonna join in the attacks. So it gives you a different dimension depending on which kind of player you're using. Right? Okay. This tactic, on the whole, is is simple. It's, it's, it's not overcomplicated. I mean, 
focus play to the middle just means that players are gonna make every attempt to support play to the middle, right? So you can have more passes going to the middle. It's distributed. This, this is hoof, is it? Yeah, man, hoof ball. <laughs> and no wonder. <laughs> so, hey, since you're playing like this, right? Since you're playing like this, you, you, your goal in life is just to hoof the ball to a very strong target, man. Then you're having two ball winning midfielders is not a bad move. A lot of people are probably going to say, go and change your tactic. Okay. But why not? I don't have this kind of a setup, man. But let's see. I'll leave it one more time. Oh, I don't know where you play. Lazio, man. Oh, this is going to be an interesting test. 23rd of October, right? Okay. If I were you, oh sh I if I were you, I'd stick to it, man. Two ball winning midfielder is not he because he is playing he, he intentionally is hoofing the ball up. He's intentionally hoofing the ball up. So if he's gonna hoof the ball up, then yeah, why not? Play two ball winning midfielders. Because those two ball winning midfielders will be so high up the pitch. Second balls they're gonna win. They're just gonna put pressure on defenders. So the the, the opposition will find it very hard to play the ball out from the back. And he's not over committing because look at his defensive line and his line engagement. It's neutral. Right? He's, he's not over committing. So I don't think there's anything wrong with this tactic. I think it's yes, it's bold. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's bold. Okay. But you see, this like some matches you end up struggling because if you can't, if there's an opposition team that likes to keep the ball, you're in trouble. Right? So it's going to have a lot of these kind of results. Like here, 4 3 1 2, right? They can bring the ball out, they can bypass his. Per this, this zone here, right? So they bring the ball out using these two guys. They get up the pitch and then they can put one over. And then his two ball winning midfielders are trying to win the ball high up the pitch. Then he struggles. So if you end up in that kind of a situation where you will need to change your tactic, then this is what you do. You come in here, you change this guy to a CM on support. Then your overlap left, you remove. That's all you do. Now, this is your hoofing. You're going to control the game, right? So you stop doing that after that. You can distribute it to the flanks. Right? Again, distribute the fullbacks. And then what you do is you do this. You try to keep the ball. Right? You can do you can play like this, you can go tighter marking. So what happens is these three guys will now try and put pressure on the opposition. Now, okay, the other thing is you're playing a narrow system. Like that 4-3-1-2, then it's when you have to change. You can't focus play to the middle. You're just playing into their hands. Right? So you can do something like this. This can work as well. Because this guy, what this inverted winger does, he comes into this pocket. He tries to play the pass. This guy tries to play the pass. This is where you can have like, you can have a shadow striker as well. So you have like a ball winning midfielder, a CM on support, or even you can play a DLP on support. This, they hold their position. So you get another option for a 4 2 3 one. Yeah, it's risky for Forrest because you might get relegated. You might get relegated, man. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody for coming in. The kids are... I'm going to go and look after my kids. The kids are not feeling well. I'm the only member of the family who's not falling sick from a viral fever. Wife is down. The youngest was in the hospital, is back home, but the older one is not sick. I'm coughing again, which is not a good sign, but it's so crazy. So I want to thank everybody for popping in on today's stream. You've been absolutely fantastic. On Friday, we continue with the Moneyball Save featuring Palermo. Um, I'm going to update though. I am I think I've done the wing back. No, no wing back, no, not yet. In, we've done the inside forward metric, right? So statistics, how to find inside forward, right? So that. Playmaker done. Goalkeeper done. Ah, playmaker done. Just did a playmaker. Just testing that one out. So I want to thank everybody for coming on today's stream. You've been absolutely fantastic. Please stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll be streaming again. Same channel here on Friday. Hope to catch you there. You guys. Bye-bye.